Are you bored with endless hours of farming in Rust, caused by the default item amount or tier in the barrels and boxes? Spice up your server by changing the loot pool your players interact with. You can do it with the help of better loot. It's indeed one of the more difficult plugins to set up, but after this video you'll have no doubt that you know how to do it. By default, Rust server generates different loot containers with a set amount of items. Many players think that getting enough items from them is really time consuming and increasing just the gather rates is not always the way to go. All of the loot containers have an established group of elements that can appear. Better loot is a complete re-implementation of the drop system, which allows you to modify the loot tables for each container. Blacklist command is used to retrieve information about which items are blacklisted. Blacklist add item, delete item, add BP and delete BP is used to add an item and blueprint or delete it from the blacklist. Make sure to add both the item and its blueprint if you intend to blacklist it completely. This is the only command this plugin offers and everything else is done on the config side. So any changes you might want to make to this plugin, you would only do so while editing the better loot.json config file in your Oxide config directory. One of the easiest options is to use the Ludify website. It allows you to really quickly determine exactly how many items will appear in each loot container. In addition, it is really easy to use. It has a clean and simple GUI, which definitely helps even less knowledgeable users in setting up the plugin. A good practice is to modify the table for the given loot containers. All tiers of barrels, as well as normal, military, Halley, Hackable, Bradley and Elite crates. Most of the modded servers modify their containers in a way that players get more weapon components, scrappable items and a higher chance of getting weapons. 